Sanitation workers in biohazard suits Wednesday picked up what was left behind after police forced occupiers out of their encampment next to City Hall. This business owner says he agrees with the protesters' message, but is disgusted at the mess they left behind. It kind of puts a lie to the high-sounding message. You know, if you go camping, you don't leave a mess. If you go to the movie theater, you don't leave your trash in a seat. So it kind of degrades what they're trying to say. Guy Aquino says he agrees with the original cause of the movement, but is disappointed at what it has become. Movement, but I thought I maybe could have been part of something here. And it really just felt like as an excuse for people just to get somewhere to sleep or it was kind of like Venice Beach with the whole, you know, progressive marijuana smokers. It was just kind of like they made this their home instead of uh, having any real reason as to be here. In the early morning hours Wednesday, more than 1,400 police officers surrounded the Occupy campsite. While most demonstrators left peacefully, police did arrest 300 people who refused to go. Los Angeles Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa praised the police for an overall peaceful shutdown of the encampment. The activists' fundamental rights were respected. The result was a peaceful and orderly conclusion to the encampment at City Hall. This was truly an exemplary operation. And today the Los Angeles Police Department stands as a shining example of constitutional policing. But this protester says the tactics used by the police were too aggressive. But the dispersal tactics that we experienced last night were way out of hand. A fence now surrounds the park where there used to be tents, but outside a handful of demonstrators still linger. Even with most of the protesters gone, lawyer John Weston says the Occupy Movement's message still needs to be addressed. The growing wage income disparity in this country is shameful and the degree to which the banks and other financial institutions which caused the problems have been able to skate from any real penalties or required meaningful change is shameful. Homeless veteran Jason Toko and his girlfriend say they will continue with the Occupy movement somewhere nearby. I'm not going nowhere. I'm staying here. Smaller Occupy movements also continue across the United States, including San Francisco. Elizabeth Lee for VOA News, Los Angeles.